Yo, what's up, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Let's see if there's a other what if scenarios on this one. I know there's another one with uh, Great Ape Vegeta. I like these what if scenarios. I think they should do DLCs, but a what if scenarios. We have seen the story multiple times. We haven't seen what if scenarios a lot of times. So in this one, unable to defeat in elapsed time, let's try to defeat Raditz here. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! I can do this! If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> I've been... Lazy fool. Living my life, training a married life, and I have a son, you know? Really? Not very easy to train for yeah. a new technique while we have a son, to say. The problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. I can handle uh, it, is that now. Thank you, Piccolo, for your new attack, but not needed. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. I killed him, right? Darn. Yep, he's dead. We did it! Ooh, you speak in battle five times. I don't know, but where is Piccolo here? I don't think he's got the will to fight anymore. Grab his tail! Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine! Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again! See, and I prideful. Uh, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> you're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen. Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act. Say your prayers. What is he? The hell? Special beam cannon! Ooh. You had to get out of the way, Goku. Bastard! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy maggot! You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. Do you think that was a perfect <laughs> well, shot? truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. The... the Dragon Balls? Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh, wait! The other two Saiyans! When are they gonna get here? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> You know what will be fun if they spared the Reddits here and they just took care of him, you know, just like their prisoner. 
In a year, a pair of Saiyans will come. After hearing Raditz's words, Goku immediately invites Piccolo to help him train. In addition, at Piccolo's suggestion, they convince Chi-Chi to let go and take part. Goku is sure the training has made him stronger. In the meanwhile, the two Saiyans are approaching Earth. Gohan, let's see when I do a little sparring. What do you say? Ooh! Really? With you, Dad? Of course! You've already gotten way stronger than me when I was your age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure. But he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. <laughs> oh, shut up. Aw, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Gohan. Buck up! Let's go! Thank you very much for the opportunity. You're not gonna leave him in the middle of nowhere like Piccolo did? Maybe with his dad around, he's gonna become stronger or not. I don't know. Maybe he'll be strong, but not independent, like he becomes, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine kicking your son in the face like that! Go on, go on, go on! Come on, both of us! Okay, what? Okay, what? Energy. Looks like they got here earlier than expected. Here go. Oh come on, let me defeat God. Dad, please don't beat me up more. I'll go get some sensu beans from Corn Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. Ooh. Yeah, we need a lot of sensu beans. How long does it take for a sensu bean to be created? Because it looks like they all are short on sensu beans. Goku hurries to Corrin Tower as and he immediately returns to join his companions after receiving sensor beans. That's some massive energy I'm sensing. It started already, hasn't it? Goku says that something significant is going to happen in this battle. Does Yamcha die on this one? Ah! Ah! Yamcha! Dad! Oh, Goku saves Yamcha from dying! Oh my god! You're a lifesaver, Goku! Jesus Christ! Goku. Of course, you must be Kakarot. You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Goku, let me back you up! Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah! We fight against the Cyberman? Oh! After they successfully defeat the Cyberman, Nappa is the next opponent to appear before Goku and friends. Tien steps forward to fight Nappa, but both he and Chao Tzu are immediately overwhelmed. Goku joins the fight and manages to save Tien. Why is this so Chao different from the other Tien one? Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. <laughs> I like your mustache. Yeah, this one is a little bit different from the other one. And the only thing that changes is that Go uh, Krillin went with us last time in Master Rashi. Krillin, 
We're in this together. Got you. You're all starting to piss me off. I'll piss you off as much as I want. Bald man. Relatable though. Oh, come on. Let me kill them. Not good. Not good. Can we have the end without an arm? That would be sick. If we can have go on without an arm, we can have the end without an arm. Yeah! Goku's defeated by Napo? Yeah! What? Damn it. Masenko! Masenko! Ah, I can barely move my body. You puny ants! Why is this so different from the other I... one? A sense of being. Goku eats the sense of being he had in his pocket and makes a full recovery. He then notices the changes to his oh, body. Wow. I feel even stronger than I did before. Zenkai power! <laughs> when he turns to face Gohan. You're Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! Piccolo died? Thanks to the sense of being, Goku recovers. But during that time, Piccolo dies defending Gohan. Goku orders Gohan to leave the field of battle. Gohan, take Piccolo and leave. Get as far away from here as you can. I can't afford to lose you. Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh... A way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! <laughs> you can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile! Okay, Napa, you're very strong, aren't you? Okay, let's do this one second time! Don't do anything crazy! Right. Damn it. If only Yamcha were here too. Huh? Hey, where did Shotsu go? Just cause you can get back up again doesn't mean you should. Saiyan. <laughs> he always got paralyzed. <laughs> it's funny how he's that cannon. You can't change that part of history. Nappa gets disabled. You paralyzed, die. Seeing Nappa as a dead weight, Vegeta kills him without a second thought. He's a psycho. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. We have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Forgive me, guys. But I want to face off against him one-on-one! -on -one. Yeah, that's stupid. 
Goku? I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but... Yo! Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me. Makes no difference. Well, the difference is that Goku is not that strong. Not in this timeline. Tien and Krillin watch as Goku and Vegeta take to the sky. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta each assume their fighting stances. Now, allow me to show you a wall that no amount of hard work will help you climb! And so, the battle between Go Vegeta and Goku begins! Hold them all, eh? Get up, Goku! Ooh, got him! No Kaioken, though. No Kaioken this time. Stop, 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 stop. What is he doing? He's not doing anything. Wait for me, please. Why is he not doing anything? Left me no choice. I'll have to become a great ape and grind you to a pulp. Great ape? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You wanna be a monkey? I don't wanna be a monkey. This planet's moon should be visible, but I can't see it anywhere. You clever snake, Kakarot. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it does. Since when there's no moon if the story is different. I said it before, I don't even know what you're going on about. Never mind. As luck would have it, I come with my own backup source of moonlight. Your lack of knowledge will be your undoing. Now watch as my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams. Transformation? Now you're dead! I don't want to do the okay. I don't want to do this now, not again. No, at least give me my life back. <laughs> this is not good. Do I defeat him or not? What, what the hell's going on here? So, so he's some kind of like great ape monster? I don't know. Why? Why mouse fight? I, I don't want this. Even with your little power. It doesn't change the fact that you're low class. What little power? You're almost dead. It's about time I wrap this up by crushing you with my bare hands. You suck ass! Damn it! You suck, buddy! You suck! Oh, come on, I was going to kill him. Just a little bit more and I would have killed him. Goku loses consciousness from Vegeta's attack. It seems like a desperate situation, but just then, an ally appears at Goku's side from out of nowhere. Oh, thank you, Chaozu. Good thing you had those sensu beans on you. Goku receives a sensu bean from Chaozu when he recovers, but... But Tien! <gasps> Tien is dead! Goku sees his friends defeat at the end of Vegeta. There's no more sensitive. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot. Damn, I'm all out of sensu beans. Well, then it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? <laughs> you don't kill Krillin! He, he transformed? 
Ah! Oh, he destroyed the power ball. No. Oh, however, is that called? What are you? You shut your mouth. <laughs> With Piccolo dead, the Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again. I will never, ever forgive you for this. Vegeta has no chance now. You know that, right? This battle is not even fun. We'll see about that. I'm the legendary Super Saiyan. You know who I am. Fine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. Get ready to see my. Get ready to see my true power. I don't know. I, I got him there. No, that, that would be impossible. There's no way. But those were just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself. I pressed the room button. Heights. Not some fool like Kakarot. I'm the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race. It is my right to become the legendary Super Saiyan. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to become the Super Saiyan. You cannot do it because you're a low last class warrior. Wah, 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 cry on me, Vegeta. How can I be outclassed by some pathetic reject? The rejects are the strongest ones. You're nothing. I mean, you're strong, Vegeta. Don't get me wrong, but hey. Be a, a more humble. How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable. I never want to see you on this planet again. And I shall never forget this humiliation. <laughs> my, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do. Try your best, buddy. Shortly after Goku faints, when he awakens, Gohan is there. As he grieves over losing precious friends and the Dragon Balls, he remembers Krillin's mission of Planet Namek. It is then that Gohan recalls the conversation between Vegeta and Nappa. They had spoken of the possibility of Dragon Balls on planet Namek. With help from Boom and Mr. Popo, they get their hands on a spaceship. But Goku, sensing that something will happen, makes up his mind to go alone. While Boom arranges a spaceship for Goku to use on his own, Goku focuses on training. It is then that Gohan approaches him. I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. Take our son, man. got it, Gohan. Goku arrives alone on planet Namek. Before him lies a terrible scene. The making bodies strew the ground. Goku's dark premonition has become a reality. Wait! Please don't run away! What is that animation? Eek. <laughs> Look. Eek. It's okay. I'm not gonna eat you or anything. Huh? For now. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Who the hell are you? Are you with him? Why do they have two Dragon Balls? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar. They're way huger than the ones on Earth. If you're after these, then you must be with him. Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! Vegeta! Vegeta is here! Uh-oh. Yeah. Really? We're fighting against the Freedom Soldiers? We're settling this right here and now. Please make my let me make my way. We're settling this right here and now. Right here and now. I don't like that he takes like... He poses after he does that attack. Don't pose, Goku. Please. 
Bye bye. <laughs> I'll cool the DP if you could fire a key blast from your hands. Power level is off the charts. That'll be dangerous though. Imagine, like, if everybody could shoot key blasts from their hands, it'll be a chaos. Goku, the one that doesn't like to kill anyone, just exploded two guys. This energy. Oh, it was Vegeta. Vegeta. Vegeta Super Saiyan. What? What happened? Why is he Super Saiyan? Since when? How? Goku now stands before someone resembling himself. Vegeta has awakened to his own Super Saiyan powers. Vegeta 2 is searching for the Dragon Balls. Now he stands in Goku's way. With Freeza out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot. Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! Did it defeat Freeza? The sparks of their battle are about to fly once again. Yeah, that makes sense. What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan. What? <laughs> yeah, then they run away better. Oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. He looks like Piccolo, one plus one Goku. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> he doesn't know how. Does Goku know how to go Super Saiyan? I don't think he knows. Okay, there you go. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed, for killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I push myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan and killed Frieza with my own two hands. So I thank you, Kakarot. Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. Get up! Okay, let's finish this battle. I'm really mad now. Especially because it's very strong though. You done now? We're settling this right here and now! Yeah. Boom! Boom! That's another battle! It's really, really weird to see Vegeta Super Saiyan with his with his armor. I'm not playing around! Whoa, 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 whoa! Right here and now! You know, get out of here! <laughs> Boo! Bye bye! This is strong though! Thank if I didn't know how to play a little bit, Super I would have died. Still inferior to this low class clown? We're both Super Saiyans. I'm a Super Saiyan now, so now I'm strong, right? No, shut up. Potato heads. To truly be a Super Saiyan. You've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time. Oh, I'm not killing you. <laughs> and no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. It's because we can fight later. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. We are rivals now. Kakarot. 
You're a true Saiyan after all. Look at him, he's happy. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all. Can you go resurrect Krillin now? Seeing sir, you killed my friends. Haha, <laughs> he's pissed off. And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. I'm loving this what if scenario. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. Ooh, and his next challenge. Wow, did we do everything now? Complete the Pushing the Limit chapter of Goku Saga. We unlocked Vegeta GT, huh? Why, how? Is there more what ifs in here? There's no what ifs in what if scenarios, right? I think this one is defeat Jis or defeat Barter. So let's do that one. How do I defeat Barter? Okay, do I wait until Jis comes? Uh, Barter, I mean. Okay, what do I do? Because I, I don't want to kill him. Do I let him kill me? Maybe I'll I wait for him to change with Barter? Switch with Barter. What are you waiting for? What do I do to get him to change to Barter? Okay, I'm gonna try to die. And maybe that will change something. Eat me with this, I don't know. Wow, that's cool though. Okay, I died. Is that what's supposed to happen? So what do I do? Defeat Jis or do I, uh, what? So we fight against Jis and Barter. But Jis never changes for Barter though. I have to deflect uh, Jis' uh, Crusher Ball. But how do you deflect attacks? That's a weird one. How do you do it? Okay guys, we're gonna stay for this episode of uh, Sparking Zero. We did a bunch of uh, what if scenarios. I will figure out how to beam reflect or deflect or whatever it is. So guys, of course, awesome. Bye bye. See each other later.